Hey there, Scott Rendell with Rendell Certified Cleaning Services. Today I'm going to speak a little bit about methods. There's a couple of guys out there in our market who are cleaning carpets with a low moisture system and they're saying don't soak your carpeting. Don't cause a possible mold issue with the other methods. Use ours. And I'll tell you straight up that's a lie. That's a straight up made up fictional lie because now, I'm sure some people soak your carpeting and they don't do a good job of drying it, but don't blame the method. You have to blame the person who is using the machinery. And that goes for any method. If you're using a dry cleaning system or low moisture, I'm going to get away from saying dry cleaning because when they're using water, they're still using a, a water system in a dry cleaning, system, or dry cleaning situation, they're just using less water, okay? Just think of it this way. You jump into a shower... You put lather in your hair, the shampoo, and then you are supposed to rinse it and then you jump out and dry. Well, let's skip the whole rinse part because that's what we do. We rinse it first. The other methods don't rinse. That's the big difference. So just keep in your mind, that's the difference between low moisture or dry cleaning and hot water extraction. Okay, so I've got a, a quick story to share. When I was in high school, my parents had started this housekeeping business. And all they did at the time was clean houses. Well, my grandmother got into carpet cleaning in a different city in Michigan, and she was doing the low moisture system at the time they called the dry cleaning system, which this system uses a brush that foams up, and then you're supposed to scrub the carpeting, and it suspends that soil, and then you vacuum it out. Sounds great on paper, but talk about not very efficient on things like deep spills, on pet urine, on really deep ground in soil, like in traffic areas. You just can't do a great job with that. Now I know every method has evolved over time. So I'm, I'm basing this initial experience with a long time ago. So there are some better tools for all the methods nowadays. But just the, ma the main concept that a extraction system will cause problems on your carpeting is a lie that really needs to be put put to rest forever because it's not true. So anyway, I started with dad in high school and he got sold by my grandmother who said, we need to get into carpet cleaning or you need to get into carpet cleaning. It's a great add-on to your housekeeping company. So dad did and I was a junior in high school and I went out one summer to help him with this low moisture, it's called a Von Schrader machine. It's a portable, it, you, it's a bucket brigade. You fill up the soap dispenser it scrubs in the carpeting with this big brush and it's got a built-in vacuum to it. And uh, boy, talk about a lot of work. So anyway, at the end of that summer, I told Dad I promised him I would never become a carpet cleaner. I said, Dad, you know, and he's like, why, son? You know, this is a great, a great job that we're doing, a great service. I'm like, no, it's not. I mean, I don't know. We didn't know anything about carpet cleaning at that time other than if, you know, what Grandma had told us or what the Von Schrader company told us that, you don't want to mold up your carpeting, do you? Duh. You want to use this low moisture system or dry cleaning system. So we didn't know any better. We thought, you know, we're talking 1983, so it's been a long time. And uh, so dad's like, well, whatever, you know, I'm going to keep doing this. And I ran off and joined the Air Force for the next 10 years. And uh, I kept my promise for 10 years anyway. Well, during one of the times I came back, dad had gotten what's called a truck mounted system. That's a hot water extraction system. And it's uh, all self-contained. It's out in a truck. The only thing you bring inside the house are, are basically two hoses and the cleaning tool. Of course, you got other things like door guards and protectors. But anyway, the basic system has two hoses that come in the house. And so I went out with him on leave one year and I said, or one summer day, and I said, Dad, uh, you know, I told you I wasn't going to become a carpet cleaner. because you got to try this hot water extraction system. It's night and day. So I did. I helped him out for that, you know, probably two or three jobs on leave. And I could not believe it. I was like, wow, this carpet is clean. It's dry. You know, this method actually pulls the soil out, unlike the other one where it just brushes in a, a detergent and, and hopefully vacuums it out. And he goes, yeah, I've actually been to, to five or six carpet cleaning schools. I met this great distributor in Wayne, Michigan. Name is Dick Hook. He's now retired. The company's still there, though. It's actually a uh, now called Great Lakes Interlink Aramsco. Um, Gary Moyer's a good friend. I know known Gary since maybe my first month in, in the business. But anyway, 
So going back, I, I changed my mind. I said, wow, this is really great. You know, this system is awesome. And dad says, yeah, we were sold a bill of goods by the carpet manufacturer from that Von Schrader company because that's all they sell. They don't sell hot water extraction systems. And so if you do any method incorrectly, as it turns out, I went to schools and learned how all this stuff works. And as it turns out, if you don't properly use that method, yes, bad things can happen. In hot water extraction, for instance, you may have too much water. Well, there's a fix for that. Use less water. Or you may overwet the carpeting because a carpet spot needed to be, you know, agitated extremely. Uh, the agitation needed to be more harsh than the rest of the carpeting. So you have maybe, you know, a dinner plate size that's more um, damp than the rest of the carpeting. Fine. Do extra drying strokes. Put on an air mover. Uh, turn your pressure down. There's all kinds of tweaks that the knowledgeable carpet cleaner, professional carpet cleaner, will know what to do in order for your carpet not to be soaked, okay? So don't listen to the methods. I want to call them the methods uh, madness or the, the, the method scare tactics. Don't listen to them. Because truth be told, anybody can use any system. There's no requirement to get into this, this business. All we're looking for is maximum soil removal with a happy client that leaves your carpet as usable as possible by the time we leave. That's really what carpet cleaning comes down to. And if you can achieve that method or you can achieve that goal with any of the methods, fine. But don't, don't listen to the scare tactics that say don't use that system or that system or that one because mine's the only one that, that leaves your carpet dry. That's a fabrication, total fabrication. You can't listen to that. So don't get tied up into this, this method's madness.